an image of a band is very important because it's what sells. A product doesn't sell by just being pretty. An artist has to look the part, play the part of what they're trying to sell. So basically we try to ooze sex appeal in our image of our band and have that 60s twist because a lot of the artists these days, for example, Steve, She, Lil Mix, even Beyonce in I don't, um, Why Don't You Love Me, um, they, they use the 60s theme, even Kelly Rowland in um, I Like My Kisses Down Low, she uses 50s, 60s theme and I think that's what a lot of artists do now to look sexy and that is what we wanted to construct in our image of our band and um, we kind of based our image through Stucci's appeal because they all dress kind of similar but they have their own style and that's what we did with um, the Laurenettes. Um, as I was making the website I began to realise there was a motif of the colour purple emerging because when we was filming the lighting for our performance scene was purple there was even a lot of purple um, just in general just oozing through when I was creating the website and because I was looking at Lil Mix and I was thinking their colour's pink why can't our colour be purple so I decided when I was creating the banner for our website that purple is a good thing to go with and I applied it onto our auxiliary task which seemed to work well because then it was then the colour purple was emerged onto our um, CD cover and our CD cover was um our CD cover was originally not purple the record on it was originally yellow because it we um we we thought about using the colour yellow but then I was thinking you can change the colour of this of the record without even picking up a, a purple record. So I thought because the ancillary task of the advertisement was purple, I just I decided to tell the rest of my group to I'd apply that and by putting all these motifs together like to show their a girl band, they're girly, they're retro because we have a record in our music video as our CD cover and it's on our advertisement shows that they are of or adapting around the 60s era and I put all the text to in the same context to convey that to convey that they are an item they create their image and it draws in our audience what we're looking for we're looking for hipsters and what and and just general people who who like the 60s era Um, our music video decided to conform to the stereotypes of a pop retro band, as I said earlier, to um, to just make our product more fit in out of there. But however, we used the twist of putting a film to it. But we did conform to the stereotype of a girl band. Normally, there's three girls. Um, we made sure that they were all in costume and always looking sexy because there's no point of a girl band without having sex appeal. Um, to create our music video, we used the idea of Goodwin's Theory um, to make it more like a band because some bands tend to be cheesy and more out there. So we used music and visuals of... Like for example, when um, when there's like a, a a beat or coming, we tend to cut on the beat to another to another scene or adding jump cuts to to make it more vibrant and funky and fun. 
Um, in addition, we use visuals and lyrics to get our cheesy appeal across, even though we wasn't going for it, but that's stereotypically what a band or a music video is about. You normally put in things that are related to your lyrics. And we tried to put like ly lyrics and visual matching. Um, however, there was a specific point in the Poppy's Diner where she was like, got to get my cha chain back from the pool. And she was holding it and shows that is some significance to her being or thinking of the man she loved or about the breakup. Um, our music video, our lyrics did have two interpretations. Um, it could either be like trying to get back to you because I love you or um, she, like she needs to come to realisation that she doesn't need him anymore she's got to get back on her feet and find who she really is. Um, Mise en scène played a big part, as I said earlier, about the settings and all of that. The settings was a key part to make our video retro for a start because all these things lead up to make um, what Goodwin's Theory is about, about constructing the music video in certain ways to get a point across and the way it's edited and we purposely edited it in a way as a story to show the climax of like the girl's journey. When we showed our music video to a focus group, um, our feedback from it was that in some places the jump cuts wasn't going well with the music or it didn't suit and that was mostly in the diner scene because everything was happening too fast and they felt like it was a bit jumpy and they didn't like it so then that's one thing that they didn't like about our music video like a rough copy of our music video um they were saying in some places that our video was off sync like it wasn't going to lauren the main laurenettes um lips but we had to say in general and uh, um that she did she doesn't really elaborate her words however like some things we did refilm for her to like try and like open her mouth and exaggerate the words um and in some places in our music video um they um they wanted us to put like a filter in or maybe make it brighter because it looked a bit um it made us look a bit like old and i don't know tired gave that d dull effect so then um to try fix that in laundry at scene i had i adjusted the contrast and the brightness and also put it on a filter on it to make it look more lively and vibrant and retro than just being in a laundry where it's dull and it's cold. Um, I considered putting that in in the laundry scene and near the ending. And to fix the ending, we put. Like, I decided to put like previous parts of what's happened in the music video to put at the end. But apart from that, everybody liked the colours that was used in the, in the Poppy Steiner because it's a lot of red. They used, they liked how we used the the record players and they liked the story and they mostly liked our theme of a performance scene at the end. And that's what mostly everyone um, liked of our video. And we took it into consideration to make a better vid music video because we want to draw in our audience and make our music video appealing. To help construct our research, planning and evaluation stages, we firstly decided to use webs that we was introduced to. It is a f website where you can create your own website for free. And we used that to, um, to, like, basically plan what we're going, what we're, what track we're going to decide, 
what route we're going to go down, what do we want to band. Um, so when we decided all of that, we researched online, or mostly on YouTube, of artists of our choice. For example, the, uh, the Renettes, um, Paloma Faith, um, Girls Loud, because they do have some videos that are 60 themed. Um, and we used YouTube. Um, to help us on webs where we created a blog for all our research for example um, to look for eye makeup the right hairstyles to use and that was key when we was in the performance scene because it all creates an image like it means on scene is very important and um, with webs we then decided to make a website, our actual official website for our band, and with our, our knowledge of webs, we could make an advanced website like a band's. And but to help use that, we use Photoshop. I use Photoshop to edit the band a bit of the Laurenettes. Um, just and I took that that image from the actual music video so I just took a still from the actual music video and took it into Photoshop and then um, added the um, font in from an, a website which I downloaded onto Photoshop. Um, what else? We decided um, we used Photoshop for our ancillary tasks, like both of them, for the poster, the advertisement, and the CD cover. Everything was done mostly by, well, really done by me in Photoshop. And to make our music video, we obviously used Final Cut because we're all confident in using Final Cut. Um, and in our evaluation stages, I pretty much used everything. I took screenshots um, online. I used YouTube. YouTube videos helped make this evaluation. And I used Final Cut to edit it. Nothing different there. Um, but using these... Um, using these... Um, media technologies to help construct our research plan and evaluation was really good because um, even though we wasn't I wasn't really um, confident with Photoshop I learned how to use it um, but using webs it was it was good to to help us plan as it had a calendar on it um, from when we're gonna film um, we could put our own comments on there, we could put on Flickr, we could put on um, our YouTube account, which did have some animations of our storyboard. Um, we also used it like SlideShare for an analysis, and I helped embedded that into our website. And on our actual website, we then developed the knowledge from that and put it into our official website.